Hi. Okay, so this is the first video in a new series of uh, Superpower Chat GPT videos that I want to uh, post on YouTube. Um, these videos are like Superpower Chat GPT tips and tricks. They are usually they usually include like a few small tips and tricks with Superpower Chat GPT, and they are mostly about like changing the UI a little bit or like adjusting, like tweaking something on the user interface of Chat GPT. So. With that, uh, let's start. So first thing you need to do is to go to Google, search for uh, Superpower Chat GPT, click on the first link. Uh, we'll send you to this page. There's a button that says Add to Chrome. Click on that button and uh, it will add the extension to your browser. Once you add the extension to the browser, you can go back to Chat GPT, refresh the page, and you'll start to see all the new features, the folder, search, top nav bar, the um, prompt history, gallery, all those features start to show up. I talk about all those features in other videos in our channel. Make sure to check those out. So for today's video, first thing I'm going to talk about is the um, adjusting the conversation with with regular chat GPT, your conversation has a fixed uh, width. You cannot change that. Some people like that, but some people don't. Some people want it wider. Some people want it less wide. To do that, um, you can go to the setting, go to the conversation, and the very first option here is it says custom conversation with. You can turn that on and you can already notice in the background like the size change. Once you turn that on, you can change this number, like go higher or lower. I'm gonna go to like 80, for example. This number represents the percentage of the page for um for the conversation. So if you if if the convert the full size is hundred percent, we are setting the size at eighty percent. The recommended size is somewhere around like maybe thirty to ninety percent. Uh, don't go all the way to the top or like like two hundred percent because your conversation might go behind uh, the um the like like these buttons on the sidebar. Uh, so somewhere between 30 to 90 percent but yeah as you can see this is our conversation now it's like wider you can see like when there is more text it's more visible this is also helpful if you are um like you don't like the auto scroll feature and uh, by making your conversation wider you make the chat to a scroll down less frequent, meaning there, there is more space for the uh, response to be printed uh, on. So this is the first uh, feature, the um, conversation with that you can adjust. There are two other features. Uh, first one that I wanna talk about is the auto scroll. So with um, auto scroll, basically with chat GPT, the default chat GPT, every time chat GPT respond to you, it automatically scroll down the page. Uh, some people like that, some people don't. Um, and with superpower chat GPT, you have the option to disable that. So if I go here and disable the auto scroll, then go back to my conversation, and if anything I type here, the page doesn't automatically scroll down. You can see that the conversation was printed, but I'm scrolling down manually myself. You can notice that even more if you're typing a uh, prompt that, that has a longer response. It doesn't automatically scroll down the page until I manually go down the page. This is uh, one way to just, like if, if you find the auto scroll annoying, you can disable it like that. You can also, um, either do that or make the conversation wider so that the auto scroll is, doesn't like happen as frequent as it usually does. So that is the auto scroll feature. Um, I'm gonna turn it back on. And then the last feature I wanna show you is the sound alarm feature. So um, we had a blind user um, who asked us to add this feature um, because um, he, he wanted to know when the chat GPT responses ended. And because they were blind, it was, I, they could have still tell, but it was harder for them to do it. So they asked us if we can add this like a small feature that basically sound an alarm at the end of chat GPT response. So I added this feature, very simple. You turn it on and you go to chat GPT. And every time you, sub, you type something, once chat GPT finish responding, you hear the alarm. Like I'm gonna try it again, hi. You can hear that alarm. Hopefully you can hear it in the video. But um, this is useful whether you're blind or like maybe you're like, 
you you submitted a long prompt and in the meantime you're you want to switch to a different tab and do something else and then go back to the hub you just want to know when the response uh is complete and then go back to the tab so this was three features um, um, for today, uh, custom conversation with uh, auto scroll, disabling the auto scroll and sounding an alarm at the end of the prompt. There will be more videos like these to showcase some of these small features. Keep an eye out for these videos on our YouTube channel, Superpower um, ChatGPT or Superpower Daily, and hope you like it. Thank you.